All right. Welcome, guys. Uh, so as promised, for those of you who might follow my private account, me and my friend Izzy over here, who's been tagged every time on Instagram, we've been doing a fitness tag workout since the beginning of the quarantine just to keep ourselves motivated, uh, keep each other motivated and inspired to keep moving our bodies even though you know, we're stuck indoors most of the time. I'm fortunate to have this big studio and she's been so kind as to socially distance and actually record a video step by step of what we've created together as our workout routine. So it's a little bit of yoga, a little bit of strength. There's some stretching in there and I'm gonna guide you guys through it. I don't know how long it is yet. <laughs> so we'll see how long this video ends up being. You're welcome to do as many modifications as you need. There's going to be moments when we're doing things like mountain climbers really, really fast, and I'm probably just going to say go and then end at the end point rather than really counting down. I'll be counting for us so we have the right amount of time to do it. But if you need to go slower, if you need to do less repetitions, do it. Take your time. Form is everything. So make sure you've got a strong foundation first. Repetitions come second to that. All right, there's also going to be some inversion play. Izzy's going to take a sort of a modified way of doing what I'll be doing up on the feet up trainer. If you have a regular headstand practice and you're totally fine either being in supported headstand or tripod, feel free to do that. But again, form comes first. So slow things down a little bit to make sure that your body is being supported appropriately. We'll be doing a couple of different versions of the workouts as well to provide other ways of doing some of these movements. Feel free to pause the video or uh, stop your stop your movement so you can watch what we're doing and then rewind it and do it with us. It's a great thing about YouTube videos, right? You can kind of go at your pace. You can pause them when you have to get a drink of water. You can break them up over a couple of days. So make this yours. I'll be out of breath. Stick with me. We can do this. All right. So we're going to start today in tabletop. You're going to bring your hands right below your shoulders. Knees are going to be right below your hips. For initial setup, if you want to be prepared, weights at the front of your mat just for easy access. Blocks at the top of your mat, again, easy access. And then any of your headstand equipment is going to go at the back. I have a towel. I will be sweating, as I expect you will be too, hopefully. All right. Fingers spread nice and wide. Just a couple rounds of uh, cat-cow so we can start to find some movement. On the inhale, let's drop the belly, lift the tailbone, lift the heart. And as you exhale, round the spine up towards the ceiling, drop the head. Just a few rounds. Nice big inhale, shoulders back, heart forward. Exhale, rounding the spine up, press down into the hands. Let's do one more round. Nice big inhale, cow and exhale into your cat. And then inhaling into just a neutral tabletop. Little bit of core activation here, so we're supporting the low back and we're gonna come right into our fire hydrants. So take an inhale, and as you exhale, right knee is just gonna come straight out to the right, both elbows straight. Inhale, bring it in. Exhale out to the right. We're gonna do 10, in, three out, in, four out, in, five, in, six, in, seven, in, eight, in, nine, in, ten, and hold. Go ahead and kick that right foot straight out to the right. We're going to land the foot on the floor and then roll towards the outer edge of the foot. On an inhale, right arm reaches up towards the ceiling. And then as you exhale, let's thread the needle underneath that left armpit. Come down towards the right shoulder. Pause for a breath. You're welcome to reach the left arm up towards the ceiling if that feels good for you. Let's take one more inhale here. Exhale, release the left hand down if you raised it. Inhale, the right arm back up towards the ceiling. And then as you exhale, that right arm is going to lead you up and back into a reverse half camel here. Good. Reaching up through the heart. Left arm reaches behind you. Big inhale. And then exhale, cartwheel the hands back down. Good. On an inhale, let's reach the right leg straight back behind. Tuck the toes on the left leg. Lift up that left knee. Three-legged down dog. 
Good. Pause for a deep breath in. And then exhale, right knee to right tricep. Stay in your plank. Inhale the right leg back. Exhale, right knee, right tricep. Ten of these. Inhale. Three. Exhale. Inhale. Four. Inhale. Five. Inhale. Six. Inhale. Seven. Inhale. Eight. Inhale. Nine. Inhale. Ten. Inhale, three-legged down dog, reach up. And then as you exhale, step the right foot between the hands. Lower the left knee down to the mat. Let's inhale, reach up, nice low lunge. Exhale to interlace the hands behind the back. Press the knuckles down, just pause for a breath here. Lift up into the heart, get heavy through the hips. Nice big inhale and exhale. Inhale, reach the arms back up. Exhale, hands to the mat. Nice. Inhale, the right knee back next to the left. And then just bringing the hands under the shoulders. Set yourself up in tabletop once again. Two rounds of cat-cow. Inhale, drop the belly. Exhale, round the spine. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale to neutral. Exhale, fire hydrant, left leg lifts. Inhale, bring it in. Exhale out to the left. Inhale. Exhale, three, doing 10 total. Inhale, four. Inhale, five. Inhale, six. Inhale, seven. Inhale, eight. Inhale, nine. Inhale, 10, hold. Kick the leg straight out to the left. Let's land that foot on the floor. Roll towards the outer edge of the foot. Inhale, the left arm up towards the ceiling. And as you exhale, thread it underneath. Thread the needle, coming down to the left shoulder. Again, pausing for a breath. If you want to reach the right arm up towards the ceiling, reach it up. Let's take a deep breath in. Exhale, the right hand back to the mat. Inhale, reach the left arm back up towards the ceiling. Exhale, bring it up and back, reverse camel. Good, reaching up through the heart. Right arm reaches back, nice big inhale. And then exhale, cartwheel those hands back down. Inhale, the left leg straight back behind you. And then tucking the toes on the right leg, lift the hips up, three-legged down dog. Nice big inhale here. And exhale, left knee to left tricep. Stay in plank. Inhale it back. Exhale, knee to tricep. Ten total. Inhale, three. Inhale, four. Inhale, five. Inhale, six. Inhale, seven. Inhale, eight. Inhale, nine. Inhale, ten. Inhale, three-legged dog. Reach it up. And then exhale the left foot between the hands. Lower the right knee down. Nice low lunge. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, interlace the hands behind the back. Pause for a breath. Let's press the knuckles down. Lift up into the heart. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Inhale, reach the arms back up. Exhale, hands to the mat. Good. Let's keep the right hand down. Inhale the left arm up. Good. Pause for a moment. Lift up the right knee. Step the left foot back. Side plank. Stagger the feet. Nice big inhale here. As you exhale, left hand down. Inhale the right arm up. That's one. Other side. Two. Other side, three, other side, four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, nine, last one, ten, lower the left hand down, plank pose, and then mountain climbers. We're going to do 20. You do as many as you need. So right knee, right tricep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, down dog. <sighs> Deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Good. Now ankle taps. Inhale forward to plank. Exhale, right hand, left ankle. Inhale forward to plank. Left hand, right ankle. Inhale, right hand, left ankle. Inhale, left hand, right ankle. Keep switching. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last one. Ten. Bring it forward to plank. And then exhale, down dog. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Let's inhale the right leg up towards the ceiling. Three-legged down dog. As you exhale, step the right foot between the hands. Inhaling up to a crescent lunge. Nice. Exhale, cactus the arms. So a little bit of balance here and a little bit of twisting. Let's take an inhale. As you exhale, shift it forward onto the right foot. Tap the left knee to the right elbow. And then inhale, step it back. Ten of these. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. <laughs> Nine, last one, 10, hold. Left leg comes up and back, standing splits. Now you're welcome to use blocks underneath your hands here if you need a little bit of space. We're gonna do goddess curtsies. So it's all about outer hips. Rather than a standing splits, lift the heart, start to rotate the left hip up towards the ceiling. So think with the legs more half moon, both hands to the floor. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, left knee taps behind the right shin. Inhale, open the hips back up. 10, let's do two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Last one, 10, open the hip up. Step the left foot to the back of the mat. Walk the hands to the back of the mat. Let's bend into that left knee, skandasana. Whew, couple of breaths. Flex into the right foot. Press the left knee wide. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Hands to the mat. We're just going to rotate towards the back of the mat here. Hands into the mat. Inhale the left leg up towards the ceiling. Three-legged down dog. Press the right heel down. Big inhale. And then exhale. Step the left foot between the hands once again. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, cactus the arms. Same thing. Balancing opposite elbow to knee. Let's take a breath in. Exhale, right knee, left elbow. Ten of these. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last one. Ten. Right into that standing splits position. And then again, hands can be on blocks or support here. Start to rotate the right hip up towards the ceiling. So more like half moon. Goddess curtsy. Take an inhale. Exhale, right knee to left calf. Inhale, open up. Ten of these. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Open it up. 
Step the right foot to the back of the mat. Walk the hands over there, Skandasana. Sorry, this is the top of your mat. <laughs> Take a breath here. Flex into the left foot. <sighs> Flexibility is just as important as our strength. So let's show those muscles some love, some space. <sighs> deep breath in, deep breath out. One more inhale here. Hands to the mat as you exhale. Go ahead and walk yourself towards the back of the mat. Step the left foot back, plank. Lower down, forearm plank. Forearms are parallel, elbows under shoulders, palms into the mat, scapular push-ups. Take an inhale, exhale, lower the heart down, inhale, lift up, lower the heart down, lift up, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, lift up, right forearm comes parallel to the top of the mat, roll to the outer edge of the right foot, inhale the left arm up, forearm side plank. We're going to add some twisting, take an inhale, as you exhale, left arm reaches underneath the right armpit, inhale, reach up, 10 of these, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten, reach up, option here to grab a hold of the big toe of that left foot, kick it up towards the ceiling, deep breath in, and then release it, left forearm parallel to the top of the mat, shifting right into the other side. Inhale the right arm up, exhale, reach under. Inhale, reach up, exhale, reach under. Inhale, three, inhale, four, inhale, five, inhale, six, inhale, seven, inhale, eight, inhale, nine, Last one, inhale, 10. Inhale, reach up. Option to grab a hold of the right big toe. Deep breath in. And then exhale, forearm plank. Keep those shoulders going. 10 breaths right here. Keep the belly drawing in. There's a break in sight. Four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Knees to the mat, child's pose. <sighs> Give yourself a moment to rest. Nice full breaths. If you need to towel yourself off like me, towel yourself off. Get a drink of water doesn't help that I always do these things in a slightly heated yoga studio. <laughs> Give yourself a moment. Let the heart slow down. <sighs> Breathe down into the belly. Arms can rest. Two more breaths. Good. After that second breath, palms into the mat, tuck the toes, lift the hips, down dog. Let's take a deep breath in here. And open mouth, exhale it out. Deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale it out. We've got five burpees coming up. Let's take a deep breath in. Last one, open mouth, exhale. 
Inhale, lift the heels, look forward. Exhale, jump to the top, right into it. Inhale, reach up, jump. Exhale, fold. Inhale, jump back. Exhale, push up, jump forward. Up, down, push up. That's two, three, <laughs> four. <laughs> Last one, five. Good. Push up and down dog. Whew. Let's take a deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Inhale, lift the heels, look forward. Exhale, jump it through to seated. Lift the legs right away, boat pose. Shins parallel. Now hands can stay at the backs of the thighs. Hands can come to the mat behind you. Maybe you hold it here. We're gonna do some high boat to low boat crunches. So, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Five more, five, four, three, two, one. Lift up, balance. <laughs> Good. Cross the ankles. Pull them in. Let's jump it back. Down dog. <sighs> Deep breath in. Deep breath out. <sighs> Inhale forward to plank. Twisting climbers. First round slow. Take an inhale. Exhale right knee left tricep. Inhale step back. Left knee right tricep. Inhale, step back. You can keep going that slower, go faster. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pause. Exhale, down dog. <sighs> Inhale, the right leg up. Exhale, the right foot between the hands. Now we're going to rotate partially towards that sort of top left corner of the mat from the direction you're facing. And then hands to the heart. Think skandasana high. So we're going to do our skater taps. Step it in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last one, ten. Step it forward. Rotate to the back of the mat. Inhale, step the left foot back, crescent, arms up. Exhale, bring it forward. Ten of these. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last one. Ten. Standing splits. Bring it forward. Keep the fingertips down, heart lifted. Warrior three taps. So come up to standing, straight back. Tap the fingertips down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Left leg is straight. Eight, nine. Last one, 10, headstand time. Get yourself set up. Left leg will lift you up. Take your time. Maybe you just hold a headstand. That's totally acceptable. Maybe you try pikes. Legs stay straight, toes lower down any amount, and then lift back up, one. Lower down, two. Lower down. Three. Feel free to stop whenever you need to. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Good. Now again, maybe you hold your headstand, 
Maybe you hang out in child's pose. Maybe need a tricep. So right knee, right tricep. Left knee, left tricep. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Left foot comes down to the mat. Lift yourself up. Right foot steps to the back. Right into our skaters on the other side. Good. So left knee bent. Step it in. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. One more. Ten. Step it in. Rotate towards the top of your mat. Arms reach up. Crescent lunge. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten, right into that warrior three. Fingertips to the ground, right leg straight, bring it up to standing, dip it down, one. Two, three, right leg straight, four, five, keep your heart lifted, six, woo, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten, option to do headstand again. Maybe child's pose sounds better. <laughs> Good. Both legs can, can come up. Knees can stay into the chest. We're going to twist. So right knee to left tricep. Left knee to right tricep. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, <laughs> ten, both legs up, right foot comes down to the mat, lift yourself up, step the left foot to the back of the mat, rotate the toes, just take a nice goddess stretch, toes turn out, knees turn out, <sighs> forearms to the insides of the thighs, press them wide, deep breath in, Deep breath out. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Good. Now, if you don't have weights, you can use yoga blocks or you can just do the arm movements with us. You'll still get benefit from it. So we're going to do our, our goddess or sumo squats along with our arm workout. So grabbing the weights, we're going to start weights in front of the hips. It's a squat with every arm movement. So first, weights come up towards the chest. Find about nipple line. And then they come down. Then they come straight forward. Don't go above the shoulders. All right, take an inhale. Exhale, squat down, weights to the chest. Lift up, squat down, weights forward. Two, three, Keep the knees wide. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last one, 10. Good, bring it up. Arms come out to the sides. Wide curls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Straighten the legs. 
let's fold forward spin the heels out toes slightly in standing wide-legged forward fold <sighs> let yourself breathe for a moment <sighs> press out into the feet roll the hips up Good, let's take a deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale into a half lift. As you exhale, walk your hands over towards that right foot. Oh, we made it onto the last page, guys. Woo! All right, step both feet back, lower the forearms down to the mat, forearms parallel, elbows under shoulders, Walk the feet in, dolphin for 10 breaths. Let it slow down. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last breath, 10. See if you can lift both elbows at the same time, down dog. Good. Inhale, shift it forward to plank. Exhale, lower all the way down to your belly. Good. Coming into our locust poses. Palms are stacked. Forehead rests on the back of the hands. Let's take a deep breath in. Exhale, lift the upper body. Arms come with. Inhale, lower. Ten of these. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last one. Ten. Rest the forehead down. Head stays down, legs are next. Make sure the legs stay straight, point through the toes, take an inhale. Exhale, lift, lower, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, 10. Lower down, rest. Now we do both head and legs at the same time. Just 10. Let's take an inhale. Exhale, lift. Lower. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight nine last one ten lower down deep breath in deep breath out deep breath in deep breath out good hands are going to come wide of the shoulders if you're on a yoga mat hands will come off the ends of the mat five push-ups first one from dead on the ground. Tuck the toes, knees can always stay down for this. Press up one, two, three, four, five. Press up, down dog. Whew. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale, lift the heels, look forward. Exhale, jump it through to seated. <sighs> okay. Reclined core work. Start feet on the mat, reach the arms forward. Let's lower all the way down. <sighs> Two options, actually three options for our core work. So first option, arms can reach up overhead as though you were holding on to a bar up over your head. 
Now your head can stay down or you can lift up in this hold. That's the first option. Second option, arms can reach forward, sort of like our boat pose. Palms will face in. Heart can be lifted or head can be down. Third option, hands can come snuggled towards the outer edges of the hips. Head can stay down or head can be lifted. If you start to feel strain in the neck, bring the head down. We'll start with the knees into the chest. 10 double leg extensions. Inhale straight, exhale knees into chest. Straight, two, straight, three, straight, four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine. Last one, 10. Maybe you switch up the arm position. Maybe you stay the same. We're going to do knee to tricep. So let's start left leg first out, right knee in. Switch one, switch two, switch three, switch four, switch five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Both knees into the chest. Give yourself a hug. Let the head rest down. Good, feet to the mat, hip distance apart. We're just gonna do a bridge for 10 breaths. Inhale, lift the hips up. Arms underneath you, you're welcome to interlace the hands if that feels good on the shoulders. Make sure you're pressing evenly through the feet. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten, and go ahead and lower down. Good. Grab a hold of one of your blocks. We're going to place the block or any prop that you have that's about the same width. Place it between the thighs. If you're looking at your knees, it's going to be just below the knees. From there, squeeze that block. Squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. We're just going to do bridge lifts from here. Maintain that inward pressure to get the adductors. So inhale, lift the hips. That's one. Lower. Inhale, two. Lower. Inhale, three. And lower. Inhale, four. And lower. And five. And lower. Six. Lower. Seven. Eight, two more, nine. On this 10th one, keep the hips lifted and then weight onto that left foot, point the right toes forward, one. Other side, two. Other side, three. And four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last one, 10 and lower the hips down. Good, two options here. Maybe you hang out in a supported bridge pose, block underneath the hips if you want rest. Maybe you take that block, place it between the feet. First option here is to just bring the feet out and in, squeezing that block from a reclined position. Second, maybe that block stays between the feet, you bring yourself into your headstand and you do that same motion upside down. So 10 of these, wherever you are. Knees come into the chest, press them out. One, two, three, four, five, six, <laughs> seven, eight, nine, last one, 10. Good, lower the feet down. If you came into headstand, shift your weight back to seated. If you're on your back, bring it up to seated. 
grab a hold of your first block, place it behind you. Grab your second block, place it behind you. Tall position is recommended. Hands in the middle of the blocks. Make sure you're even so you're not rocking around on them. Tricep dips. Let's lift the hips. Lower down one. We're doing 20. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Elbows go straight back. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Belly draws in. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, last one, 20, press them straight and lower down. Good, soles of the feet together. Blocks can come under the knees for some support. Lower yourself down onto your back. <sighs> Reclined, bound angle. Arms can be by the sides if that's most comfortable. You can reach the arms up overhead. You can grab opposite elbows up overhead couple of breaths. Listen to your heartbeat. Feel your breath. Use the breath to slow down the heartbeat. Couple more deep breaths. You're welcome to end your workout right here if you're really jamming on this rest position. Of course, we did have the challenge with each other to just play with our inversion practice. So why not end practice? with a little bit of play. Headstand, forearm stand, handstand, whatever feels good. Maybe shoulder stand. Izzy's going to show you guys shoulder stand and just playing around with that. This is just about doing something that feels good. So find that feel good position. Let yourself maybe be restful or maybe play. couple of breaths. Just feel your body for a moment. Be upside down. Let that energy drain. And when you're ready, Feet can come down. Maybe you take a shavasana, maybe a rag doll, any other seated stretches that would feel good. Whew, and you guys did it. You survived the workout that we've been building for a month now. Thank you for joining in. This is a nice, quick, and actually really comprehensive practice to cover you know, all directions on the mat, all parts of the body. So it's good to do a couple times a week. Thank you guys so much. Namaste.